one thing I got a kick out of, speaking of Java, is that in a in a sort of a well, we're not the first people to give up on browser plugins. The so-called Java Platform Group at Oracle formally announced the end of the browser Java plugin. <laughs> it's like, you know, and, and I mean, if anything, this podcast could be called, why has this taken so long? Because, you know, for years, you know, or, you know 10 years ago, Leo, for years, starting at the beginning of the podcast, it was email viruses. It was, e you know, it's like, okay, Microsoft, turn off scripting in email, turn it off. And it just took forever. And, and similar, it was like, Microsoft, turn on the XP firewall by default. Well, that took them until Service Pack 2 to get around to doing that. So this is, you know, Oracle, kill the <laughs> Java plugin. And yes. There's only uh, one left now, and it's Flash. And you kill that, <laughs> and then we're done, right? Everything's right. going to be secure. So, Everybody's so, going to be happy. Exactly. I got a kick out of this blog post because this was like, okay, so he, here's what they said. By late 2015... So, right, you know, a couple months ago, many browser vendors have either removed or announced timelines for the removal of standards-based plugin support, eliminating, this is, this is Oracle speaking, eliminating the ability to embed Flash, Silverlight, Java, and other plugin-based technologies. So, of course, it's not that it was always a horrible idea. It's that, well, you know, everybody else is, you know, saying we, they're not going to support this anymore. So continuing, Oracle says, with modern browser vendors working to restrict and reduce plug-in support in their products, developers of applications that rely on the Java browser plugin need to consider alternative options, such as mitigating from, I'm sorry, such as migrating from Java applets, which rely on a browser plugin, to the plugin-free Java Web Start technology. Oracle plans to deprecate the Java browser plugin in JDK, that's the Java Development Kit 9. This technology will be removed from the Oracle JDK and JRE, that's the Java Runtime Engine, in a future Java SE release. Um, and then they give some links about, you know, JDK 9, talking about how it's uh, it's coming. So, yes, uh, this got picked up by the tech press uh, and saying, yes, finally, <laughs> Java is being removed from the browsers. And most mostly what Java is saying is, well, you know, we didn't want to give up, but the browsers are refusing to host our plugin anymore in one form or another. So we're not going to fight it. We're we're killing it off completely. And then, so what they'll have is they'll have a they'll have this Java Web Start technology. I've not taken a look at yet, but it's not a plugin in the browser. Uh, and <laughs> let's just hope it doesn't have its own uh, set of catastrophic uh, problems. It sounds frightening. I mean the only the only thing that um that might save it is if it requires, you know, a lot of user interaction and verification before it runs something that you you obtain from just promiscuous web surfing, which is never safe when browse when when Java is your target. I mean Java's a full strength programming language as you were just saying you know minecraft was written in it it's you could do anything with it uh that you need to which is all also part of its benefit the problem is you don't want to stick it in a web page for all the reasons we've been talking about for the last decade uh also is yesterday happy the the plugin that they're referring to that's the deprecated plugin from firefox it must be the npapi uh no, uh N N P A P I is Netscape uh, is Netscape Netscape's yeah. uh uh own uh brow browser API. Right. So um but you know but but there's Java plugins for all browsers historically. 